Hello and welcome to another episode of AI Buzz. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Nick. I have some great stories out of the world of artificial intelligence and machine learning to share with you today. Let's get started. Machine learning can be a tremendous help in the education space. The technology can offer tailored lessons to students so that they can be adapted to their personal learning styles. The concept is that there's an automated feedback loop such that the lessons given to the student and then sensing data is collected from the lessons such as a visual feed from a laptop camera, just for example, and that feed could be used to determine attentiveness of the student to the lesson. The lesson is then adapted in a feedback loop type of style until the student's attention is brought back into focus. The program could then foreseeably learn this particular student's profile and tailor future lessons using those same approaches. This approach is particularly invaluable for students with learning disabilities who may need extra instructions or attention from the teachers in order to get them through the course material. Machine learning is also beginning to be used more frequently, not only for those with learning disabilities, but for those with autism spectrum disorder, or ASD, as well. Those with learning disabilities and autism spectrum disorder can benefit greatly from some of the new approaches that we're beginning to see with machine learning. I'll get into some of those right now. Private organizations and universities alike are developing machine learning based tools that can make content more available and accessible to people with learning disabilities. IBM's creating a tool called the Content Clarifier that's a branch off of their much larger computing project, IBM Watson. The Content Clarifier is able to take parts of speech and break them into much more simple and perhaps understandable terms. An example that was presented in MIT's technology review that covered this initially was the phrase raining cats and dogs where it doesn't mean exactly what it sounds like it's a figure of speech IBM's partnering with the University of Massachusetts Medical School to test that technology in a real classroom setting another superstar that was covered in this MIT article who's working on this project is named Iniki Sherman, who is creating a mobile app project that is working on simplifying text for people with learning disabilities. By creating tools such as these that are automated with machine learning, text, images, and videos could be more broadly enjoyed by all. Machine learning is fast tracking the timeline of detecting autism spectrum disorder. Early detection of autism spectrum disorder is extremely important because it can allow the parents to get the child the help they need at a earlier age. According to Dr. Dawson, who leads Duke University's Center for Autism and Brain Development, early intervention of ASD could save the child and their family over a million dollars in medical costs by intervening early. In order to detect the disorder as early as possible, researchers at Duke University are turning to machine learning approaches. The researchers developed a mobile app that could play a movie and use the camera to track the child's facial movements. The scale of this research was able to be expanded significantly due to the fact that it was automated and it had an automated machine learning pipeline. Most other studies that attempted to do similar things, such as diagnose autism, needed to be done in a very manual fashion, which limited the sample size, uh, which did not seem to be a big problem here because the study involved over 1,700 participants that had autism spectrum disorder and they conducted this analysis with the mobile app on them. The researchers hope to make autism screening much more widely accessible and cheaper due to the ability to scale up with cloud computing services. Other companies are working on solving this problem too. A California-based startup company called Cognoa is transforming the autism services industry. They're creating a software platform that allows parents and teachers to identify autism earlier. And similarly, a company called BrainPower is working on, a, on creating a way for those with autism to learn to better control their own emotions through a set of wearable devices as well as a mobile app. A team at Stanford is working on modifying Google Glass in order to assist in identifying facial expressions. The modified Google Glass, called Superpower Glass, uses artificial intelligence to analyze the facial expressions of whoever the user is looking at, and then feed them back an emoticon indicating their emotion. This will help those with autism with one of the main signs of the disorder, which is uh, not being able to completely recognize uh, facial expressions or detect others' emotions. One really cool direction that these developers brought this uh, uh, invention towards is an in-app review feature. The device records all the interactions that took place throughout the day and then can be later reviewed with parents or teachers in order to understand uh, what happened or how a situation with a student should have proceeded differently. 
This is some fantastic work out of uh, Stanford University combined with Google. I think this could, could really help. Lastly, machine learning is helping autistic children when they need help in the classroom. One research team provided autistic children with a robot nicknamed Kiwi, and this robot served as a coach to the children while they learned mathematics problems. The robot recorded the children's attention throughout lessons, and after a month of a training period, were able to train an algorithm to recognize when they were paying attention. The model that was trained reached 90% accuracy in determining when they were attentive during a lesson. Kiwi served in some cases to bring the children back. Kiwi served in some cases to bring them back into focus by speaking when it was needed. More development in this area is very exciting since we know that everyone learns differently. Learning disabilities and autism are difficult disorders that can be extremely tough on parents and teachers. There are strides being made in machine learning that make it easier to predict what type of special needs their child will be needing down the road. Once that's determined, machine learning tools can be used right through the child's schooling to provide them personalized education and recognize when they need help the most. This has been AI Buzz. I'm your host, Nick. I'll be back very, very soon with more stories of the world of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye.